Why did God give me this life? Sometimes it's overwhelming. Ever since their relationship became official, Jay-Z and Beyonce have given us relationship goals. With Bay being one of the greatest entertainers of all time and Jay being one of the most powerful men in the music industry, their power couple status has been one that people aspired to or just fell in love with. But recent revelations that are coming to light are showing that all that glitter is not gold. Because according to rumors, Beyonce is heavily addicted to alcohol and drugs, and it's Jay-Z who is pulling all the strings. But Jay is finally setting the record straight, and you are not going to believe what really is going on with the Carters. Okay, to give you some context, Bay and Jay first met in 2000, when Beyonce was still 18 years old. But they didn't start dating until a year later, or that's what she told the press. Anyway, seven years later, they got married in a very private ceremony, and after some more years, Blue Ivy was born, and in due time, they welcomed the twins, Carter and Rumi. And for anybody looking at the Carters from the outside, their story seems like the perfect fairy tale. They are surrounded by the love of their family and their fans and all of that. But recent revelations and allegations leveled by Hollywood insiders show that all of this might be a sham. Now, rumors that Bay is usually doped up have been floating around since forever. And while I'll be the first to admit that part of these rumors might be fueled by the fact that Queen Bay seems superhuman, there have also been evidence to prove that these aren't mere theories. And if anything, these rumors heightened after Jay-Z cheated on Bay, and she was caught on camera looking spaced out and out of it. Now, no one could confirm exactly what was really going on or what made Queen Bey act this way, but a faction on the Beehive suspected that it most certainly had to do with drugs. But then they didn't blame Beyonce for using and instead turned their anger towards Jay, who they believed was trying to control her with drugs. And even before this, Beyonce once recorded a video where she was extremely emotional and vulnerable. And while this is very moving, she also looked like she was wasted. Living a dream. I'm living my dream. And people were quick to blame Jay-Z because the history between the two has always seemed shady and off. And one reason it seemed this way was due to the timeline of their relationship. Now, according to Beyonce, she and Jay first met when she was 18, which makes her barely legal. And even though she said that she friend zoned him for about a year, it was quite clear from the get go that he was into her romantically. And while there is nothing wrong with liking someone when they are 18 years old, there are a lot of things wrong with an older man being romantically linked to barely legal girls when he's in his late 20s. Now, Jay has been linked to both Foxy Brown and Aaliyah, and at the time he was linked to Foxy, she was about 15 years old and he was 10 years older than her. As for Aaliyah, even though it was likely that he knew the dirty secret of how R. Kelly abused Aaliyah and manipulated her into a marriage when she was barely 15, he still thought of her as fair game and even did a collab album with R. Kelly before his fall from grace. And even though he has denied that anything ever happened between him and Foxy or with Aaliyah, fans can't help but feel that the power dynamic between he and Bay isn't balanced and that he doesn't regard her as an equal. And this suspicion is supported by his verse in 444, when he asked Beyonce not to embarrass him when he first tried to ask her out. Then he later went on to rap that Bay matured faster than him. Moreover, there's this video of an anniversary dinner where Bay hailed Jay as the one who taught her how to be a woman. This is, is nothing compared to what you've done. And not only me, but everybody here. You taught me so many things. I was 20 years old when we first started dating. You taught me how to be a woman. So not her mom, not her dad, or even some close relation to her family taught her how to be a woman, but her husband, who she met when she wasn't even old enough to be drinking, and who had about 10 years on her, was the one who taught her how to be a woman. And I don't know about y'all, but that looks sus. And then some years after, Jay's cheating scandal hit the ceiling, and while Beyonce seemed very angry and disappointed, she didn't do what most of her fans expected her to, which was to seek a divorce. I mean, this situation was so bad that Solange was fighting Jay in an elevator.
and Beyonce even made lemonade, cussing him out for cheating on her with Becky with the good hair. But instead of breaking it off with him, she ended her album on the themes of forgiveness and love and then went on to have more kids with him. And when Jay was asked about this, he said that they decided to move forward from that incident and remain together because they were trying to break generational curses while calling Beyonce a strong woman. And, you know, for us, we chose to fight for our love, for our family, to give our kids a different outcome. You see, see, uh, you know, to break that, that cycle. Um, for black men and women, you know, just to see a different outcome, like you were saying, it's not this. And a lot of fans weren't buying his lines and calling it pure BS. An example is this user who said, you break that cycle of single parent households and broken homes by not cheating on your spouse in the first place which is so true. Now, Jay said that if Bay was the one who stepped out on him, that he was definitely going to forgive her, but most people felt like he was lying through his teeth. And I, for one, felt that it was a power dynamic in their relationship that must have made it difficult for Beyonce to leave. Plus, there is the fact that Bay might be afraid of Jay. And y'all know that Jay has always had a temper. We all know back in day, Jay was a real gangster. One time, he was even sentenced a three-year probation for stabbing Lance Rivera, who allegedly leaked his about-to-be-released album at the time, Volume 3, Life and Times of S. Carter. And while some may say that Lance had it coming, this wasn't the last time that Jay showed himself to be aggressive. Back when Diddy celebrated his 50th birthday in grand style, Bay and Jay were invited to the party, but then a video surfaced online where Jay snatched the phone of someone who was recording Beyonce. And although a lot of fans thought that this was super romantic and really cute as Jay-Z was seemingly protecting Bay, others think that it just showed a very dark side to his personality and that perhaps Bay wasn't safe with him. Also, back at the 2023 Grammy Awards show, when Trevor Noah was trying to give Bay her Grammy statue for best R&B song, Jay was also trying to pass her a drink, which she declined. Grammys, everybody. You know, when you equal a record, there's no way you don't get to hold your Grammy in your hand and celebrate that. Now, although their interaction looked cute, Jay's body language looked like he was embarrassed and didn't like feeling that way. Then there's also the fact that over the years, Bay's presence in the media, especially when it came to interviews, has reduced significantly. I mean, it has gotten so bad that some fans have to point out that she didn't even promote Renaissance at all. One fan said, I really wish Beyonce would promote Renaissance. I'm not upset with her, but I was too young to experience a traditional rollout from her. Now that I'm 22, I would love to see her do it just one last time. And while some people believe that Beyonce stopped doing interviews because she's trying to keep her life private and that she understands how every single aspect of her life can be misconstrued by the public, others think that this is a direct influence of Jay-Z controlling her and how much she lets out to the public even when it comes to her art. For example, Jaguar Wright has called out Jay-Z for what she believes he is doing to Bay. Jaguar made it clear in an interview that she thought Jay kept Bay doped up so she can be dependent on him for her every move and need. He's a monster. And I'm only as a monster he is. Mm -hmm. I waited a long time to see if he would grow a conscience. And the more drugs he pumps down his wife's throat to keep her in a uh, character. Uh, no, girl. <laughs> Jaguar even compared Jay's hold on Beyonce to Britney Spears' father's hold on her and asked that the beehive should make hashtag free Beyonce trend. Then there's Uncle Ron, who claims to be Beyonce's former bodyguard, and there's been this to serve as evidence to this claim. Well, according to Uncle Ron, Queen Bey has a drug problem that Jay-Z supports. Hardly nobody knows, but I'll say it, man. Yeah, Beyonce's on drugs. She's been on them for a long time, and you keep her that way. Anyway, Beyonce and Sean are paying the rumors no mind and seem quite determined to keep their private lives that way. But fans are now comparing Bay to Whitney Houston, while others are insisting that Beyonce isn't addicted to any drugs. This user said, shame. Hope we don't lose Beyonce the same way we lost Whitney. And this other one said, I'm so glad Beyonce stopped doing interviews and keeps her life private. Can you imagine the stories we'd hear about if she allowed people to see more of her life? We know a drug addict when we see one. This woman is not a damn drug addict. But tell me what y'all think. Do you believe Beyonce is hooked on drugs and Jay-Z is keeping her that way for his benefit? Or do you believe that all the evidence is just mere coincidence? Leave your thoughts in the comments and check out my next video.